is up? What's going on today? Welcome to another exciting episode of Stay Smooth Shaving with your boy D Smooth. Here we go. Simple to the point. My top five aftershave bombs. Now I know I was going to do a review on the Soap Commander. I was going to do a review on the Sterling. But if you know my channel, I have done those reviews already. Not going to waste any more of your time with those reviews. Just going to get right into it. Boom, bada, bing, how you doing? Who's your daddy? So here we go. First, I'd like to say, hope everyone's doing well. Hope everyone's doing very, very well. Had a good day and a great shave. And I know you did. I know you did. Before I start, <clears throat> an honorable mention. If you're a gent, he's out and about. You took your shave and you took your stuff, but you forgot your aftershave bomb. You forgot something. You can always pop into Target, Walmart, and pick up a vino. I gotta say, for mass market stuff, national branded, a vino scentless aftershave bomb is awesome. So, there you go, honorable mention. But, coming in at number five. Now, first I gotta say, this is my take on it. This is what I like to put on my skin in order. They are in order of popularity to me. Um, but that being said, I do have dry skin. So this might not be in your top five. It's okay. It's mine. And I got this crazy fly rolling around here. I'm going to get him. Uh, you might be able to see him. He might be waka chopped. Karate Kid style. Anyways, at number five, ta, 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 ta. Soap Commander, mentholated. This is their passion, but scent has nothing to do with it. It's just my favorite scent from them. Mentholated, four ounces, great stuff. Leaves my face feeling extra protected. Not very oily, um, so it's perfect for summertime use. Excellent, excellent product. Um, I love Soap Commander, number five. Number four. This is also another great one for summertime use. Leaves your face nice and refreshed. Excuse me. But it's not overly saturates your face. And that is the Phoenix Aftershade Balm Scentless. Great ingredient list. Just horrible design. Should have just went to the tub or the squeezer thing. But that's just me. What are you going to do? Phoenix Aftershave Bomb number four. <laughs> number three is an awesome Aftershave Bomb. I was debating whether I want to put it two, number three, but it is where it is. And it's none other. Then Sterling Aftershave Balm. This is their Sterling Green. I don't have a scent list from them. Uh, I probably won't be buying a scent list for a long time because I have a lot of these. They're so affordable. You can get, what is this, six ounces? No, four ounces. I think for like seven bucks. Something ridiculous. I mean, go Sterling, man. Best budget aftershave out there. Aftershave Balm. Great stuff. So there you go. Sterling number three leaves my face feeling great um, It does have the addition of I think my personal ingredient is the um, Where is it at? Metal seed no grapeseed oil. I really find that really helps my skin type is the grapeseed oil that's in the sterling Now here's another one that was debating should it be number one? Should it be number two? It was definitely in the top two. I was just like, you know, it's great, but there's another one that really gives me protection, that saturates my skin, that I don't feel like my face is dry. So sitting at number two is Ginger's Garden. Oh, I know you're like, Dave, D Smooth, how could you not put that number one? Well, for me, it's good. 
it's my number two. How could you be wrong with number two? But it does have a little bit of menthol in there. And that's okay. It is what it is. It's got great properties. Leaves my face feeling extra silky and smooth. Don't get me wrong. It's great. All right? But there's just one that I just cannot get out of my head. Every single time I use it, I'm amazed. And it's simple ingredient list. Simple. Distilled water, grapeseed oil, apricot kernel oil, emulsifying wax, fragrance. Well, this one don't have a fragrance. So what could it be? Sitting at number one of my all-time favorite top five aftershave bombs, Sapon di Palo. Sinless. Number one, to me, it gives me a great aftershave feel. Like a, the post shave is just so awesome. My face feels so buttery. I have no problem moisturizing my whole face. So if you're looking for a moisturizer, aftershave, bomb, that has dual purpose, that will protect your face, that will give you a base to put an aftershave on. Because we all know that putting this on beforehand is going to extend the life of your scent. And I think my boy Chad at Shaving on the Dark Side really touched some good points on how to extend the life of your aftershave. And I've been talking about this for a long time and I just got backed up by another source that knows his frags and scents. So, number one, Sabon de Palo. In my opinion, the best aftershave bomb out there on the market. That's my top five. What's your top five? Hit me up below. If you agree, if you disagree, give me yours. I like to see. I like to know what people are putting on their face. But as for right now, that's the lineup. So I hope you guys enjoyed my top five aftershave bomb review. If you haven't subscribed yet so far, please do. Give it a thumbs up if you like. Appreciate that all the same. So until next time, America and YouTube, respect yourself, respect the day, respect others. Until then, stay smooth.